measuring tap water temperature using sugar. What? How can sugar be used to measure temperature? Well, using changes in one physical property to indicate another is normal in the world of measurement. Different types of thermometer can measure changes in light, electricity and length to indicate changes in temperature. Our experiment will help create a chart to convert the time sugar takes to dissolve in water to the water temperature. Do you think sugar will dissolve fastest with hot or cold water? This is what you do. We want some water to be at room temperature, so let a container of water stand inside for about an hour before you start. Measure the sugar. Because spoon size varies, we measure the mass rather than the volume. First, set the balance to read zero with the empty spoon on it, then add sugar slowly until the scales just stop reading 4 grams and start reading 5 grams. Use granulated white sugar as the size of the grains affects the result. Scientifically speaking, in this experiment, temperature is the independent variable, meaning that how it varies does not depend on anything else. Dissolve time is the dependent variable, as it depends on temperature. And other factors, such as size or shape of the glass or pressure, these are all called control variables, and they should be the same whenever this experiment is done. Good experimental practice is to identify all these variable types and keep these control variables fixed. After setting the balance to read zero with the empty glass on it, add 200 grams of the room temperature water. If you have a thermometer, measure and record water temperature. Start the timer the instant you add sugar to the water and keep stirring. Stirring speed affects the result, so we're stirring in time with a ticking sound of 100 beats per minute. The timer and ticker are at the end of this video for you to use. Look at the timer when the sugar has dissolved, write down that time. Repeat with the hot and cold tap water. Run the taps for about a minute beforehand so they get to temperature. Did the sugar take different times to dissolve? I hope so proving that the rate of dissolving depends on temperature. The big question is why? Well, heating the water molecules make them move faster, increasing the likelihood of meeting sugar molecules, leading to swifter dissolving. Please share your results with us using the web page form. If you have thermometer readings, share those too. It doesn't matter if you don't. We did this experiment many times, used maths to get a nice smooth curve and swapped the axes to make it easier for you to see what temperature your stir times would indicate according to our measurements. Don't be surprised if your results differ from ours. It'll likely be because the control variables differ. Here are some of these. Please tell us if you can think of some more. Hot tap water can be hot, dangerously hot, hot enough to scald you. A bit cooler would be safer, but we drink tap water, so water is heated to 55 to 60 degrees Celsius to prevent growth of Legionaria bacteria in the pipes. So, for safe bath or shower temperatures, we add cold water. And now, with this kit and handy sugar dissolving method, you can check the temperature. Yay! Uh, or you could just carefully feel it with your hand. Thanks for watching. What now follows is the timer for this experiment. A countdown from 10, then a count up, with ticking at 100 beats per minute for you to stir along with. I hope you've got that sugar ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stir.
Are you um, still stirring? Hmm. Something's wrong here. For water at zero degrees Celsius, sugar should only take about a hundred seconds to dissolve. Are you stirring it properly? Are you sure that's sugar? Hmm. Oh well. Time's up. Goodbye.